Thanks for checking out GWF. Hit the subscribe button and enable notifications by clicking the bell icon so you don't miss any future GWF content. Yesterday here in Berlin, GWF officials originally planned to only use one or two of the athletes from that tryout on this show. But after being so impressed with the 14 women who were invited to that tryout, no fewer than four of them will take part in our action here today. Dave Bradshaw with you here at ringside for all of the action. From Women's Wrestling Revolution 10. And we are preparing to get underway. Bell rings and we are started here. First of six great contests we're going to be bringing you today from Huxley's, including the GWF Women's Champion, our new champion. The Amazon, Aisha Raymond, going to defend that championship against Lady Valkyrie. Foxley trying early on to apply a full Nelson here to Vesna, and that's not going to work because Vesna, clearly the larger and more powerful of these two women. Vesna, as I said, has been wrestling since 1998, was trained by the GWS president, Ahmed Chair. As well as by his brother, Crazy Sexy Mike. There's no now with that, with that hold. Wrenching on the left arm 
of Foxley. Oh, Foxley sweeps the legs of Vesna. Vesna clear with a, a, a strong sense of being the favourite here, but Foxley is an unpredictable young woman. She's clearly quite unorthodox, got an unusual sense of style. She goes to the ropes a second time, trying to get the Croatia panther off her feet. And Vesna showing very quickly just who is in charge here. Vesna has spent much of her career wrestling against men as well as women. She won the tag team titles here in GWF. Along with Crazy Sexy Mike, has competed against a, a lot of male opponents. So Vesna is used to opponents of all shapes and all sizes. She has Foxley backed into the corner here. Foxley. But put the leg up and Vesna exposing that left thigh and kicking her right in the underside of it and then a kick to the spine of Foxley. Vesna could win it here, left shoulder of Foxley goes up to keep the match alive. This Vesna has been, become much more popular with the GWF fans in recent times after, along with Caddy Libra, she was able to win her quest, if you like, to get women's wrestling on the GWF main shows. Earlier this year on Three Count, Three Count, our YouTube series that you can see right now, if you like, on the GWF YouTube channel. Foxley, Lord Vesna in there. Foxley looking for the sunset flip. She's got her, got her shoulders down. That is the closest that Foxley has come so far in the match, but Vesna ensures that that momentum oh. is short-lived. <laughs> Vesna, at one time, retired from in-ring action, but couldn't stay away. She returned full-time back in uh, 2016, so she'll be back for a couple of years now. She looks like she's absolutely in top form now. Top of her game is Vesna. Foxley in some trouble here. She gets sent into the corner. The clothesline. And the neck snaps back. Vesna trying to lift up Foxley. Foxley knows she's going to have to fight for survival here. The right forearm into the face of the Croatian Panther. Clothesline doesn't send her down. Second time, same result. Vesna goes for a close one of her own, and this time Foxley takes her down. Foxley. That leaping take down the cover, got both legs covered, and a right shoulder goes up for Vesna. But Foxley suddenly has some belief in her eyes here that she can get this done. Foxley is trying to send Vesna to the ropes. Vesna with enough experience, enough knowledge to know to hold on to that top rope. This time allows her to go for the Irish whip, but counters with a short arm clothesline. That snap Northern Light suplex to cover. Kick out again by Foxley. Vesna, I think, a little bit surprised here that Foxley has been able to last this long. We've seen Vesna beat opponents in less time than Foxley has lasted, so credit for this young lady. But it could be all over now because Vesna looking for the Death Valley driver. Foxley gets out of the way. It's a right forearm. And from the wheel, barrel position, the bulldog by Foxley. And Foxley can score the upset here, the cover and a kick out by Vesna. Foxley can't quite believe how much offense she has been able to get in here against this legend of women's wrestling. 
jawbreaker. And a variation on the stunner from Foxley. She may have knocked Vesna out. Oh, she has it because Vesna kicked out again, but that time possibly on instinct alone. Well, a great start we're seeing here to Women's Wrestling Revolution 10. If you'd like to see the other nine Women's Wrestling Revolutions, or indeed all of our great content from all of our GWF shows, you can see that on wearegwf.com, our on-demand service. I tell you what, Foxy won't want to look at that kickback. All oh, this is a Death Valley driver from Vesna. The cover on Foxley. Foxley's out cold, and Vesna is your winner. Here is your winner, Vesna! The Croatian Panther, victorious here at Revolution 10 over Nikki Foxley. Credit though to Foxley, what an impressive effort on that young lady's debut. Vesna clearly has been impressed here. Foxley has earned her respect. That's good to see. Great show of respect here between the veteran and the rookie. Vesna and Foxley. If Foxley can keep working hard, can keep on performing with the intensity she did here against Vesna, then I'm sure we will see Foxley again. And Foxley will not always be on the losing side, but on the losing side she was today as your winner of our opening contest is Vesna. Scheiße gut drauf, Berlin! Hier ist die German Wrestling Federation live! Scheduled for one fall. <laughs> Introducing first. Time for tag team action here on Revolution 10. And a somewhat sinister, mysterious young lady on her way to the ring in the form of Cat Siren. From Hanover, Germany, Cat. Siren! Siren tagged with her tag team partner today, Melanie Gray, back at Revolution 8, where this duo defeated Audrey Bride and Tracy as part of an ongoing feud, a vicious feud between Gray and Bride that lasted throughout much of 2018. So Siren and Gray, no strangers to each other as tag team partners, and that must make them, presumably, the favorites here. And her tag team partner. Well, she is magnificent. She is marvelous. And she is mad. The twisted Melanie Gray on her way to the ring. Germany, the sensational, sinister fairy godmother, Melanie Gray! Well, Melanie Gray and Audrey Bryan, as I said, been battling throughout much of this year for the affections of a mystery admirer that turned out to be Vincenzo Cocotti. Now all that business is out of the way, and Audrey Bryan has apparently left GWF here. Melanie Gray can Return her focus to in-ring action. And their opponents. A welcome return to GWF. 
for this woman. From Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 66 kilograms, the Rainbow Warrior Queen, Slammerella. Well, Slammerella, we haven't seen here in GWF since Revolution 6 in December 2017, so one year ago. Great to see her back, and she is going to have to leave this team here at Revolution 10, because her partner is another one. And her tag team partner. Taken from our tryouts yesterday here in Berlin. herself and talked about Cat Siren being kind of mysterious where well, you could say very much the same about baby Allison quite the odd couple baby Allison and Slammerella two clearly very different women we are gonna have to find a way to get on the same page very quickly here against a much more established team in Siren and Grey. Melanie! Yeah. Wicked Witch! Good Witch! <laughs> Referee is trying to get one of either Siren or Grey to enter the ring so we can get this match started. It's going to be Allison to start things out for their opponents. And it looks like it will indeed be Melanie Grey. Ready to fight? You're ready to fight. Fight! Bell rings, here we go. Raucous crowd here in Berlin. This tag team match gets underway. Gray tried to lure in baby Allison early, but in the end, Allison with a, a lick to the face of Gray. And Gray did not like that one bit. Very strange beginning to this tag team match. This is... Gray is beside herself. Now the referee has got involved in the licking action. Gray has been taken right off her game by that as the bridge backwards from Baby Allison has left her in all kinds of trouble. The next snap there by. Baby Allison, a leg drop, split leg drop. The cover, a kick out on two from Gray, who needs to find a way to get her wits about her here quickly. As I said, great atmosphere here. And if you'd like to join us, by the way, next time GWF is live in Berlin. It's going to be January 26th. It is Global Warning 2019. Tickets for that, as well as merchandise from all our great GWF stars, male and female, available at gwf-wrestling.com. Gray has retreated to her corner for comfort after that odd exchange with Baby Allison. Slammerella now with the snapmare on Cat Siren. A low cross body into a cover. Leg was hooked, but it was good for two. Come here, Come. Come on. Double handed chop across the chest. Come on, girl. Slamorella. We'll get her in the corner again. Overhead heel kick into the face of Melanie Gray and a face buster. 
Two. Cover and a kick out on two for Slamorella. Now, Gray, although she retreated to the corner a moment ago, clearly deciding to stay as the legal woman here. And now, finally, making the tag to Cat Siren. Come on, get out of the corner. Come on. Siren a clubbing blow right across the back of Slamorella. Slamorella gets her head bounced off the canvas like a, a basketball here. Siren showing a mean streak. A big smile on her face as she inflicts more pain here on Slamorella. Again, leading her by the hair. Referee is having to repeatedly emphasize the rules here to Cat Siren about choking, about hair pulling. Siren and Gray, I promise you, will have no hesitation in bending whatever rule they can to secure themselves an advantage. They've had her fingers in the nose or mouth there, I think, Siren as well. Big forearm to the side of the face of Slamorella. Cat Siren firmly in control. Again, Slamorella taken down. That's one way to take a shoulder out of its socket. Melanie Gray back in now. This tag team match here hotting up as part of this Women's Wrestling Revolution 10. Our gift to you, our GWF fans, for this festive season, this entire show, released for free on YouTube. What great action we are seeing here is great. Buries that knee right between the shoulder blades of Slamorella. And don't forget Aisha Raymond and Lady Valkyrie coming up for the GWF women's title. I'll main event a little bit later as Melanie Gray goes to the cover and Slamorella able to kick out on two. Slamorella has taken a lot of punishment here in the past few minutes. The hands of both Gray and Siren. So Slamorella needs to find a way out here. She's apparently got a second win, but she's pushed back into the opposition corner, inches away from a, a tag to her tag team partner, Baby Allison, trying to crawl underneath the legs to make the tag now. Slamorella still can't get to her corner. Pushes Melody Gray away, this time surely she'll make it, and yes she does, here comes Baby Allison. Ducks the clothesline from Cat Siren, Siren was tagged in as well. Baby Allison, a step ahead here of Siren. Takes her down. And a scream from the witch pitch of wrestling, Baby Allison. Allison now bending those fingers backwards. See the pain on the face of Cat Siren here is been taken by surprise by the the intensity of this onslaught of offense from Baby Allison are being stretched out now, wrenching that arm backwards. Look at this, Baby Allison using her entire body weight. Melody Gray knew that Siren was in trouble, so Gray making the save to keep. Siren in the match, Slamorella has got involved. Slamorella and Gray brawling on the outside. Inside the ring, it's still Lady Allison and, excuse me, Baby Allison and Cat Siren, who are the legal women. It's a rake to the eyes from Siren. Oh, counter, counter from Allison inside Cradle. Down, I think at least one of them is. 
And now, hang on a second. Well, Melanie Gray came in, turned things around, and oh, they've stolen it. They've stolen it. Gray and Siren win. Here are your winners, Cat Siren and Melanie Gray. But whether you call it an illegal shortcut or whether you call it ring smarts, Cat Siren and Melanie Gray victorious. Baby Allison had had Siren wrapped up in that small package, but Gray turned things around for her partner and ensured that they pick up the win here at Revolution 10. up-and-coming talents from six different countries want to take their pro wrestling career to the next level. You, the GWF fans, have the power to decide who advances to the second round and who will be one step closer to getting a contract to be part of the roster of the German Wrestling Federation. We welcome you to the second season of GWF Who's Next? This next match is scheduled for one fall. Well, we strongly recommend Who's Next? Our competition to find the next big wrestling sensation. That available on YouTube right now as well. Speaking of sensations, here is a young woman who is still just 18 years of age, but has already taken Canadian wrestling by storm. Introducing first, from Nova Scotia, Canada, the sensational Madison Miles. Madison Miles, the maritime wrestling sensation from Nova Scotia. Although she's only 18, she already has three years of wrestling experience. She started out at 15 years of age. This her GWF debut. I'll tell you what, we talked about earlier with Vesna being a difficult opponent for someone on their debut. How about the opponent that Madison Miles must face here in this singles match? And her opponents. A woman until who very recently had been the GWF Women's Champion for a year, making her return here tonight at Revolution 10. KD Harvey back in a GWF ring for the first time since losing the championship. She may not be the champion anymore, but she is still the queen. As far as many of our GWF fans are concerned, she was possibly the most popular women's champion we've ever had here. And our fans here at GWF still love Ireland's Katie Harvey. Such an inspiring athlete in so many ways, Katie Harvey. As I say, that title reign that lasted until she was finally defeated by Aisha Raymond at Revolution 9 has quickly become the stuff of legend here in the GWF women's division. If you'd like to see all of Katie Harvey's title defenses or indeed her loss to Aisha Raymond, you can see all of that on our on-demand service, wearegwf.com. But never mind those past matches right now for Harvey, because Harvey is looking to the future. 
And Harvey needs to quickly get back to winning ways here against Madison Miles. Harvey trying to manipulate the body of her opponent is this bow and arrow hold. She got it, but she didn't have one of the legs hooked up, and that is why Miles was able to roll through and end up in a lateral press for a quick one count. Great wherewithal there from Madison Miles. Well, Harvey having a little bit of fun here. Harvey more experienced, obviously, than Miles, who's been going three years, but Harvey has been wrestling since 2011, so nearly eight years now for the queen of wrestling. Shoulder block from Miles and a cover the one count only as Harvey ensures that he doesn't stay down for long. Looking for a hip toss got counted and Miles will get into a pinning predicament again here. Good for a two count this time as Harvey gets that left shoulder up to stay in this. If there is one thing that Katie Harvey cannot afford to do after losing that title is to have a second loss in a row because then it becomes a losing streak and that psychologically apart from anything else got to think would be extremely damaging to what must be some damaged self-confidence on the part of the former champion. Katie Harvey though with a that right knee into the face, the side of the head of Madison Miles. Miles pushing Harvey away, trying to give herself some respite here, went for a big kick, Harvey Ducked the first one, didn't duck the second, and Miles went to the well once too often as Harvey gets her on her shoulders. And Harvey dropped her on the apron, but elbow right into the face by Miles. This has been very impressive stuff from the maritime wrestling sensation, Madison Miles. Big chop to Harvey. Some fans in the front row getting a more close up view of this match than they intended, I think. Harvey with a running uppercut to Miles. Miles is in a, a seated position. Harvey with a right forearm. Harvey enjoying some back and forth with the crowd here. And these fans really do have a great relationship with Katie Harvey, who's, who's earned their respect as much as anyone. In that year that she was champion, she won the title at Revolution 5, back in the autumn of 2017 beating three of the absolute best in Germany on that day. Two of whom we've already seen here. Melanie Gray and Vesna were in that match. Alpha female as well. Jazzy Gabbard, as she's otherwise known. All of those women, of course, still around the, the women's division here in GWF. So Harvey knows that... She absolutely needs to prove that she uh, deserves a rematch. And she's uh, hit the ring post there as Harvey. That could be a turning point because Harvey may have done some serious damage to her right arm. Miles rolling in and out of the ring to ensure that this match doesn't end by count out. That's some smarts beyond her years for from Madison Miles. Oh God, Miles though goes face first. Face first into the ring post. Jesus. 
both of these women in the past minute or so of just how hard that steel ring post is. Crowd here in Huxley's in Berlin are very firmly in the corner of the former champion, the queen of wrestling as Harvey runs into the corner with an uppercut. Miles looks out on her feet here. Harvey with the fisherman suplex from the bridge, puts the fingers together and oh, Miles did very, very well to kick out of that. Harvey again with Miles, backed into a corner. Miles this time gets the elbow up into the face of Harvey. Miles escaping the corner onto the ring apron. Madison Miles is climbing to the penthouse here, to the top turnbuckle. Madison Miles with the high cross body. The momentum took her off of Harvey. You know, Miles had stayed on there and gone for the, the cover. I wonder whether she might have won it. Come on, Madison, finish it. Hello. Now she goes for the cover. Wow. Kick out on two, and I think Miles took too long. That is some inexperience because Madison Miles gave Katie Harvey far too much time to recover. Well, she's maintained her advantage here with a couple of clotheslines. Swinging net breaker by Miles. The cover by Miles for the upset. No, left shoulder up by Harvey. Miles is arguing her case with the referee, but clearly a two count left shoulder of the former champion did come off the canvas. Miles, though, she keeps pushing here. Should be on course for a memorable victory. Spinning back elbow into the face of, of Katie Harvey. Harvey in trouble here. Miles looking to end it as Harvey head by big clash of heads there now. Taking out the back of the knee of Miles. Harvey. For the submission. The variation on the half grab here by Katie Harvey. See how she's got that spare leg pushing into the right arm of Madison Miles. Miles is thinking about tapping out here. Both the arm and the leg on the right hand side hooked up here. Miles is struggling to get to the rope. She broke up away with that right arm and was able to grab the bottom rope to keep herself in the match. Harvey with Miles on her shoulders though. Miles escapes. Oh wow. Great innovative offense. Harvey dropped on the top of her head, the cover by Miles, and Harvey got out again. But that is the closest near fall of the contest for Madison Miles. Miles taking a second to regain her composure here and refocus. I've been impressed here with Madison Miles. Shot from Harvey though off the block and Harvey looking for oh, God, gets it smashes Miles dumps her face first a variation of the gory bomb and that is enough to pick up the victory for Katie Harvey. Harvey with the gory bomb takes out the maritime wrestling sensation. Madison Miles, Miles though, I'm sure will be applauded here by the GWF fans as, as she put in a, a tremendous effort here against the woman who again, let's not forget, was our champion for a year.
And now with that victory over Madison Miles, Katie Harvey, has Aisha Raymond, the GWF Women's Champion, surely locked in her sights as she looks to regain the championship gold that she believes is rightfully hers. Katie Harvey, victorious over Madison Miles. Champion einer Wrestling Promotion zu sein, ist eigentlich das größte Gefühl, das man haben kann. Es hat eine Weile gebraucht, bis ich realisiert habe, dass ich das jetzt habe, was andere wollen. Es gibt natürlich keinen Tag, an dem man nicht daran denkt. Das Möglichkeit kommt nicht immer. Jedes Mal, wenn ich in diesen Raum kam als World Champion, habe ich den Respekt gespürt der anderen. Ich habe es gefühlt an dem Tag. Ich habe gemerkt, ich bin bereit. Es musste wirklich das machen. Egal meine Gesundheit. Es hätte alles schief gehen können. Den Moment, wo ich in der Hand hatte. Das war eins, zwei, drei. Wow. Es ist eine große Gefühle. Ich hole mir das Ding. Ich wusste, ich habe es geschafft. Hätte es gefühlt von mir, ja. Du bist gerade die Nummer 1 in der Weltspitze. Es gibt nichts auf der Welt, was damit vergleichbar ist. Der Gürtel hat eine ganz besondere Bedeutung. Er ist der neue Heavyweight Champion. Und er hat selber gewinnt den Titel. EBF Heavyweight Champion, Crazy Sexy Mike. Jeder deutsche Wrestler will einmal diesen Titel in den Händen halten. Die Fans liegen ihm zu Füßen, sie beten ihn an, sie bejubeln ihn. Chris Goldberg ein seine Börsenreise. Wir haben ein Siegerwachsel. Der neue King ist der neue Nummer 1 Herausforderer. Tag an Achter gegen Chris Cole bei Battlefield. Um den GWM Börsenreise. Alle wollen meinen Gürtel. Auf diesen Moment habe ich ein Leben lang gewartet. Ich bin am Höhepunkt meiner Karriere. Ich bin geboren für diesen Moment. Berlin steht hinter mir. Beileibe, ich werde alles dafür tun. Hier drinnen bin ich schon der Sieger. Das ist das, warum wir alle damit angefangen haben. Es muss einfach klappen. Der dieser Löwe hier jagt nach Gold. Ich habe nie aufgegeben, ich bin stark genug, ich habe trainiert, ich bin motiviert, ich habe Berlin, ich habe die Fans hinter mir. Ja, das gewiss, mit dieser Löwe hier, jeder World Champion. Ich bin der Gejagte, ich bin der World Champion der GWF. Battlefield, World Title, Chris Cole, Taka und Aslan. Taka und Aslan. Chris Cole, der Austin Wolverine. Willkommen bei der Jagd. Es ist eigentlich es ist schwer zu beschreiben, weil das Gefühl kommt von hier drin. This next singles match features two competitors from our Revolution Tryout and is scheduled for one fall. A tremendous opportunity then for two of the great young athletes to come out of our tryout from yesterday, including a woman who calls herself Big Money. Will she prove to be just that in her GWF career? Introducing first from Salzburg, Austria, Weighing in at 67 kilograms, big money, Jesse J. Jesse J, trained by former WCW star Alex Wright. And her opponent. Nowadays, Alex Wright has his own promotion called NEW down in Bavaria. And Jay's opponent here is also from NEW, although they have never ever faced each other in a singles match before. From Nuremberg, Germany, weighing in at 
and 60 kilograms, Steffi Sky! Steffi Sky, apparently with a much more pleasant attitude towards the fans than her opponent, Jesse J. You can see Sky with that martial arts background. I'm sure we're going to see that come into play here. A double debut then. A consequence of both of these women impressing among the top of their class, a 14-woman class in this GWF all-women's tryout that took place just yesterday. What a way to end their 2018 for one of these two. Sky trying to kip up and get herself out of that wrist lock predicament. Does so with the reversal into a hammer lock. Jay stamping on the foot to try and get herself out. And side headlock as Sky will send Jay to the rope. Jay with a shoulder block sends Sky down. Nice kick there. Kickboxing influence from Steffi Sky. The roundhouse kick didn't get it. And I think Jay may have pulled by the hair there. Referees being somewhat lenient. Jesse J with a constant snarl on her face as she brings the fight here to Steffi Sky. I mentioned it earlier, but speaking of tryouts, the ultimate tryout here in GWF, of course, is who's next on 16-person tournament that took place throughout the past few months. You can see all of the episodes, including the recent final between the top two. The place of GWF Showdown. That match is available for free on the GWF YouTube channel. It's Sky gets her shoulder up on two. Also, you saw the trailer for it right before this match. Among the other free content you can get on the GWF YouTube channel is that big world title match from Battlefield earlier this year. The Austrian Wolverine, Chris Cohen, defended the championship against the Lion King, Tarkan Azran, in a match that would prove for many reasons to be one of the most consequential matches of the year here in GWF. Great to see that match on YouTube. Great to see this entire event, Women's Wrestling Revolution 10 on YouTube for free as well. Our Christmas gift to you, our great GWF fans. As both women trying to look to end this. Sky trying to go for the suplex. Instead, it's countered. Ultimately, it's Jay who hits the suplex. Another two counters. Sky gets that shoulder off the canvas again. Right in the corner, that clothesline jarring the neck of Steffi Sky. These two young women from NEW. Putting on a very good performance here. It's Sky though who has the upper hand. He's on the middle turnbuckle. Jay back to her feet. There's a cross body, a cover. Doesn't cover in the end, in fact. Sky landed on top of Jay, but didn't go for the pin. Instead, she goes for another kick right into the chest. Sky clearly knows that those kicks are the most lethal weapon in her arsenal. Sky with the Irish whip. Spinning heel kick right into the face of Jesse J. Sky to win it, and the left shoulder goes up to keep Jesse J just and only just in the match. Sky, though, believes that the end is nigh here for Jay. And for the bicycle kick, Jay moved out of the way. This time, though, Jay runs face first into that top turnbuckle. 
side suplex from Sky. Will that do it? Put it hooked up tightly, but Jay still had the energy left to kick out. Sky, though, again measuring Jay. Another attempt with a spinning kick. Jay countered it. Spine buster by Jesse Jay. Jesse J, the spear, oh God, big, big spear by Jesse J, almost took Steffi Sky out of her boots, and J is the winner. Here is your winner, Jesse J. Impressive stuff from both of these women, but Jesse J in particular, with an absolutely devastating spear to pick up the victory over Steffi Sky in both these women's GWF debuts. Jesse J, your winner, as Revolution 10 rolls on. No, no, that can you also with me speak. Yeah, share my name. I'm the president of the German Wrestling Federation. Mike is actually not better as matchmaker. Lob and the guys stunt jobs become Ahmed. Er denkt, er schmeißt diesen verdammten Laden hier ganz alleine. Lass du mich einfach meinen Job machen, regierst du mich mein Ding. Aber wenn du deinen Job scheiße machst, dann mische ich mich ein. Pass auf, okay, ich weiß, was ich tue, also misch dich doch einfach nicht ein. Du bist eine Visionär. Ich habe eine Casting-Agentur angerufen für so einen Werbefilm. Wir suchen da so einen Wrestler für weißt du? Ja, wir haben Pascal und dich dafür vorgeschlagen. Aber wieso denn Lucky Kid Ahmed? Schau ihn dir doch mal an. Er ist überhaupt nicht repräsentativ. Ich bin die GWF. Ich wollte fragen, ob du mir vielleicht bildlich sein kannst. Ja. Der erste, größte und wichtigste Tipp ist, vergiss alles, was du bei der GWF gelernt hast. Du willst doch Mike auch loswerden. Weil der der Matchmaker ist, wird Frauen, dass sie in der GWF nie eine Chance haben. Und was willst du machen? Ihn zum Psychologen schicken? Keiner will Frauenkämpfe sehen. Niemand. Warum? Es sind Frauen. Wenn ihr seinen Scheiß noch einmal abzieht. Ich will, dass ihr sie findet. Ich will, dass ihr den Weg tut. Dann machen wir auch richtig fertig. Ah! Hey, Gold! Wo, wo, wo? Los! Wie warst du, Alter? Redest du mir von Respekt und Loyalität? Du ziehst so eine Scheiße ab, oder was? Ja. Yeah. <lacht> Damit Opi sich eine neue Hüfte kaufen kann. Hey, Mike. Wir müssen reden. Es geht um Arbeit. Er ist einfach zu schwach, um die GWF zu führen. Eure Streitigkeiten nehmen zwei in die GWF. Solange Ahmed nicht weiß, wie man eine Wrestling-Promotion zu führen hat, wird sich hier nie irgendwas ändern. Ich will auch Karriere. Was ist mit mir? Was ist mit Tarkal Hassler? Du warst auf Plakate, du warst auf Touren. Lass die Vergangenheit kein Hahn kriegt danach. Schau mich an, ich bin nicht verdammte Zukunft! Was ist bei Battlefield? Du bekommst die Chance, gegen mich im Ring zu stehen. Und den Wörtitel, dann sei dir gewiss, mein Freund, dass dieser Löwe hier im September nicht sein Gold hat. Ich bin ein Löwe. Und ein Löwe, der jagt. Also eigentlich sind es ja die Löwinnen, die jagen. Und die Löwen liegen eh nur vor allem rum. So, das ja. is a triple threat match and is scheduled for one fall. Triple threat action now on Revolution 10. Here comes La Rubia Atomica, the Atomic Blonde. Welcome return for Tracy. to the ring from Sofia, Spain, La Rubia Atomica, Tracy! So Tracy, who we last saw at Revolution 8 in her third match here in GWF. What will we see from the Atomic Blonde here in this triple threat match? And her opponents.
from an atomic blonde to a golden goddess. Another athlete looking to make an impact. Here in this three-way match. First, from London, England, the Golden Goddess, Chakara. Chakara, from my hometown of London, England. She will be looking to follow in the footsteps of fellow Londoner, Aisha Raymond, our women's champion, who we're going to see up next in our main event for the women's title against Lady Valkyrie. But Chikara, before that, looking to pick up a victory of her own against Tracy. And one more opponent who we are about to meet. And their opponent. Well, this young lady has been making a name for herself over in NXT UK, the United Kingdom division of WWE. She's also spent time over in, in stardom in Japan recently. It has been a huge 2018 for Candy Floss. She hails from Candy Kingdom and weighs 55,000 grams of sugar. Well, it takes a very special type of person to measure her weight in sugar. Candy Floss trained at the Progress Dojo, big part of Progress Wrestling by the great Daryl Allen, one of our top trainers in the UK. And Candy Floss, given her experience and her accomplishments during this year of 2018, presumably will be the favorite here. But maybe those circumstances suit Jakara and Tracy. So that's hygienic by our cameraman, but anyway. I remember under triple threat rules, first woman to score a pinfall or a submission over either of her opponents will pick up the win, but apparently Jakara not ready. Kara with a certain arrogance, it has to be said. And I suppose you do need a degree of self-confidence if you're going to call yourself the golden goddess. No. We're not tagging, we're not friends now, OK? Candy Floss looking for a hug and instead gets one from Tracy. Oh, God, a big forearm. Tracy unloading now on Chikara. You heard Chikara talk about how we're not tagging now to Candy Floss. You see a double drop kick on Chikara. The reason she mentions that is that Candy Floss and Chikara are often uh, competing as a tag team around the world. You see Candy Floss trying to surprise Tracy. That tag team called Fleeky AF. What that means is beyond me. Well, arm drags from Tracy. Variation on the headlock takedown. Great chance for one of these two women to take advantage. As you see, Tracy looking for the arm bar. Candy Floss instead turns it into a crucifix style pin for a two count. But with one opponent incapacitated on the outside. Big opportunity to claim the win as an arm breaker from Candy Floss. Candy Floss likes to put her opponents away with an arm bar of her own, and she calls it the Candy Cane. So, a very deliberate strategy, I'm sure, to focus on the arms here of Tracy. Candy Floss with a nod of acknowledgement as Tracy was able to get out there and the, the uh, pin attempt was unsuccessful once again they're working on that left arm 
Candy Foss has lost her grip. She'll go straight back to it, trying to stop on the elbow and does so. Oh, it's incredibly painful for La Rubia Atomica, the atomic blonde. As you see, hang on, here we go. Yeah, Candy Foss looking for that arm bar and a butcher's hook grip from Tracy. Using her other hand to prevent her left arm from left elbow from being hyperextended. Come on, Candy Foss looking to do even more damage. And does so with a big kick. Running kick right into the side of the elbow. There's Chikara. First time we've seen her for a couple of minutes and she sweeps the leg away of Candy Floss. Chikara back in this. Making an impact here. Chikara goes for a cover, it's a sloppy pin though, no leg hook, no body weight. Candy Foss was easily able to escape. Now it is Candy Foss's turn to hook her hands together to prevent perhaps an inevitable camel clutch. And Chikara licking the before putting it over the face of Candy Floss. Candy Floss, as a sometime tag team partner of Chikara, will know exactly how ruthless this young Londoner can be. With a cover and a kick out on two. That has perturbed Chikara somewhat, who will again go back to Using the ropes here, the legal hold. Referee again giving Chakara to the count of five to break that. Cover attempt once more from Chakara, and again, Candy Floss got the right shoulder up to, to stay in here. No sign of Tracy since Chakara took her out on the outside. There's a vertical suplex from Chakara. Looks like Candy Floss has done some damage to her lower back there. Another suplex. You see the impact on that portion of the back. Chikara, obviously the strongest in this match and using that power to great advantage. There's a counter though, Candy Floss with the counter, the counter, and a kick out on two. From the small package. Chakara picks up Candy Floss once more, trying to maintain control by grabbing her by the hair. Again, this is illegal because he's in the corner. Tracy back on the ring apron, only briefly. Chakara, the Irish whip across the ring. Candy Foss hard into the opposite turnbuckle but gets the boot up into the face of Chakara. Moves that the way and the left arm of Chakara now that Candy Foss is trying to focus on until Tracy took her out of action. We've seen just about every combination of these three women we can have with one outside the ring and two competing against each other. Oh, got big clothesline takedown. Tracy is finding a way to take the bigger opponent here off her feet. Here's a victory roll from Tracy. Will it be enough for victory? No, it won't. The kick though. From La Rubia Atomica, the Atomic Bond gets a net breaker on Candy Floss. Tracy now is going to head up to the top turnbuckle. Tracy will launch herself and takes out both her opponents. But Tracy needs to stop celebrating and go for the cover. Candy Foss has 
Roll down to the ring here. It's Tracy and Chikara in there. Looks like a 619 attempt by Tracy. Chikara made sure she wasn't there. And now Chikara. Gonna shoot for a gory bomb, maybe. Oh, God, there is a variation on the neck breaker from that back raised position. The cover by Chikara to try and win this. Candy Floss will break it up. The double foot stomp right into the posterior on two. Candy Floss. The Japanese strength hold into a backcracker. The cover. A kick out again on two by Shakara. Shakara is hanging in there. All three of these women have had the chance to get the victory here. Different periods of this match when all three have been on top, and it's Chikara's turn again, apparently to seize control. Looking for a full Nelson again, trying to make best use of her strength advantage. It's the speed of Candy Floss that gets her back in it. Oh, got full Nelson into a suplex. Tiger suplex. And it's the armbar, the armbar. The candy cane, the candy cane. Billy got it fully hooked in here. Chikara's got her fingers hooked together. Chikara. Oh now though, both arms are hooked. Both arms are hooked. And the submission, the submission. Candy Floss, Candy Floss, your winner in the triple threat match. Here is your winner by submission. Victory here for Candy Floss. After the year she has had in America, in Japan, and now here in Germany as well, as well, of course, as in the United Kingdom, wherever she goes around the world, Candy Floss finds a way to pick up the victory. That is what she has done here against Tracy and Chikara, as Candy Floss checks that her friend and sometime partner, Chikara, is okay. And Chikara wants nothing to do with her. Chikara shoving away Candy Floss as Candy Floss here left to celebrate on her own. Chikara not in any kind of sporting mood, but nonetheless, Candy Floss quickly regains her composure. And it will be a night of celebration in Berlin for that young lady. Candy Floss, victorious over Jakara and Tracy. Support, love, defend. S and L Wrestling. Deine Zentrale für alles rund um Wrestling Merchandise. sl-wrestling.de The following contest is your main event and it is for the GWF Women's Championship. It is the richest prize in the German Wrestling Federation Women's Division. And it is about to be decided here at Revolution 10, the number one contender for that championship on her way to the ring. A product of Ireland's Fight Factory. And still just in her very early 20s, Lady Valkyrie became the number one contender by winning a tournament at Revolution 9. Will it be her passport to the women's title? 
or will she regret stepping into the ring with our champion, the female predator, the deadlift diva, who we are about to meet as she enters this arena. And here she comes. The Amazon. And a woman who has dominated affairs here in GWF. Like few anyone can remember. Aisha Raymond seemed destined to win that championship from the moment she arrived in the German Wrestling Federation. And the question now that she has that championship in her grasp is whether there is anybody who can take it from her. An imposing figure to say the least. Aisha Raymond enters the ring. of London, England, Lady Valkyrie of Dublin, Ireland for the GWF Women's Championship of the World. There goes the bell and the next time you hear that bell, the fate of this women's title will have been decided. Raymond challenging Valkyrie to a test of strength early on. There is a an undoubted swagger to Aisha Raymond, but why wouldn't there be? She has brought a path of destruction here in GWF ever since she arrived. Won that title, as I said, from Katie Harvey at Revolution 9, who, by the way, is a mentor and close friend of Lady Valkyrie. Since she won the title, Aisha Raymond has defended against Blue Nikita at Revenge, Jamie Hayter at GWF Legacy in November. So this is the third title defense for Raymond and Valkyrie is proving a handful here in the opening moments. Because oh you can see that strike from Raymond. You can see all of Aisha Raymond's 
and Lady Valkyrie's GWF journeys so far. As Valkyrie tries for a sunset flip and no one there. Raymond tried for a stomp though. Hang on a second. Valkyrie rolling underneath. Valkyrie. Valkyrie has got the head scissors applied. Hang on. Raymond in trouble. Raymond. Look at my way. She is a drunk it right in the back. The champion. Raymond flees to the outside. Valkyrie won't give her a chance to. And you know, got caught in. Valkyrie caught on the ropes, but still was able to land a flying kick on Raymond. I was about to say before all that happened that if you want to see the GWF careers of both of these women, you can see all of that and much more great GWF content, including those shows I was talking about, Revenge Legacy, much more as well, on wearegwf.com, our on demand service as Lady Valkyrie gets caught by Aisha Raymond. First, right into the ring post. Goes Valkyrie. GWF fans here making a tremendous amount of noise, as they always do. I mentioned it earlier, but if you want to be part of the, the live experience of seeing GWF, there is nothing quite like seeing it live. But in the next time we're with you, which is Global warning on January 26th as Raymond goes to cover against a two count. If you want tickets to Global Warning or any of our events throughout 2019, the website for tickets and merchandise is gwf-wrestling.com. Big shoulder thrust there from Raymond. And the second one. No action. Valkyrie. By Raymond and Valkyrie. Perhaps they might be regretting getting in there with Raymond, but maybe she isn't because that back elbow puts Valkyrie right back in this. Raymond gasping for air. Valkyrie giving her no time to recover here. Multiple running forearms from Lady Valkyrie. Oh, but there's a backdrop with authority from the deadlift diva, the cover by Raymond and a kick out on two. <laughs> Lady Valkyrie giving Aisha Raymond a real run for her money here. Valkyrie so, so impressive as she won that one night tournament at Revolution 9 to win this title opportunity. I don't know, if you're Lady Valkyrie or anyone in that women's locker room, how do you begin to formulate a strategy for how to take down Aisha Raymond? Not just a powerhouse, although she is the most physically dominant force we've seen here in the women's division for many a moon, but you see in here as well that Raymond is very well versed in the fundamentals. She can apply some of the more scientific wrestling holds as well. It is very, very hard, in fact, to find a weakness in Raymond's game. Boot again, right into the back. Raymond, that snarl on her face as she apparently thinks that she has made a an important turn here, there's the big body slam and the cover. One, two, Kick out on two from Lady Valkyrie. Slightly casual pin from Raymond. Raymond now with a body wrapped around Valkyrie, the legs around the ribs. You see the arms around the, the chin. Suffocating, squeezing the air out of Valkyrie, but Valkyrie got Raymond's shoulders down on the canvas. Almost took the champion by surprise. Valkyrie has to find a way out of this body system. That is exactly what she is trying to do, but 
Raymond raking those fingers down the back of her challenger. Raymond might be limping though, you know. Raymond might be limping. Valkyrie may have done more damage than the champion is letting on. Valkyrie will go to the rope. Spinning kick gets caught. Raymond gets Valkyrie. Valkyrie escaped the power bomb. It would have been the end of her challenge if Raymond had hit that. Look at the power. Look at the power of Aisha Raymond. The cover and a kick out again by Valkyrie. And I have no idea on God's earth how Valkyrie kicked out of that. What a spinning side slam after catching Lady Valkyrie in mid-air. Takes her down again, does Raymond. And Raymond into an in a variation on the Boston Crab. Look where that right leg, though, of Valkyrie is, right? Underneath the thighs of Raymond. Now it's a, a half grab, a more conventional half grab that Raymond has applied. He's now body weight, and Valkyrie got to the bottom rope. To force the break, Raymond will take as much of those five seconds as she can. Both of these women have sustained significant damage here. They are leaving it all in the ring with the GWF women's title up for grabs. Raymond picks up Valkyrie. The delayed vertical suplex drops her hard off the blood. Rushes to the head of the young Irish challenger. The cover and a kick out again by Valkyrie. A stunning effort here, this young Irish woman against the female predator. Valkyrie still in this, but only just by the tips of her fingernails as Raymond will again look for that delayed vertical suplex. Trying to hit it a second time, counter! What a counter, the DDT! Valkyrie with a DDT and Valkyrie sends his history beckoning here. A flurry of kicks as Valkyrie knocks the champion off her feet. Raven may have, may have been knocked out. Oh my God, what a story this would be. Valkyrie with the moonsault. Didn't get all of it, but did she get enough? No, she didn't. Raymond got out. And you've got to believe that if Valkyrie had been a, a half a foot more accurate with that moonsault, that she would now be the GWF Women's Champion. The roll through, the shoulders of Raymond go down. Raymond counters. Both women getting near falls. What a main event this is. Yeah. This title drop kick in the corner. Goes Raymond. Valkyrie again climbing high. Lady Valkyrie taking some time here to get her balance. Did she take two off? Yes, she did. The power bomb. What a counter from Raymond and Aisha Raymond holds on to the women's championship. What a match. Here is your winner, and still, GWF Women's Champion. Wait a second now, what is this? Hang on now. Raymond is, the match is over. The match is over, for goodness sake. Raymond with another sit-out powerbomb. You've won the match. Here comes Katie Harvey, the friend and mentor of of Lady Valkyrie, not gonna stand for this. The woman who Aisha Raymond beat for the title. Gonna confront Raymond. Get away from her. Get away from her. Harvey 
staring down the woman who replaced her as champion. Oh, what, what is that? Oh my God, Katie Harvey! Harvey just assaulted Valkyrie! What is going on? Katie Harvey putting the boot in here to her friend! What is this? What is this? Harvey has betrayed not just Lady Valkyrie, but all of the GWF fans. And look at the smile. Look at the smirk on the face of Aisha Raymond. What in the world has got into Katie Harvey? Continuing this assault, just battering Valkyrie. Well, well that's Vesna. Vesna is in. Finally, it is Vesna, the Croatian Panther, who saves Valkyrie. What just happened? What on earth did we just see? And I am still your champion. Aisha Raymond holds that title above her head. And she's right, she is still the champion, but what you gonna do? the biggest story here is that the beloved Katie Harvey has apparently aligned herself with Raymond. So that's it, huh? What you gonna do? Katie Harvey, four years of friendship down the drain because you got better at my success? I was the champion because I got a title shot, you got my title shot. the challenge a tag team match for GWF showdown Aisha Raymond and Katie Harvey against Vesna and Lady Valkyrie what a challenge and you can see that match and the rest of showdown on our on-demand service we are GWF.com with Aisha Raymond and Katie Harvey leave together this is Dave Bradshaw saying goodbye from Berlin and goodbye from Women's Wrestling Revolution 10.